Hi, my name is Haley, and the book that I read for my book report was Fever 1793 by Lori Hals Anderson. Matilda or Maddie Cook is a 14-year-old girl living above a coffee house in Philadelphia with her widowed mother and grandfather, and Eliza, a free black woman. One day, when one of the coffee house's servant girl does not show up for work, they realize she has fallen ill with yellow fever. As yellow fever spreads across the city, Matilda's mother falls ill and tells Matilda she has to leave to the countryside. As she leaves with her grandfather, she falls ill with the fever herself, and after healing and returning to the city, her grandfather is murdered by ransackers. She then leaves the city wandering and finds Eliza. When she finds Eliza, she also meets other members of the Free African Society, and they run the coffee house together until Matilda's mother returns home from the fever. The fever is then broken by the frost, and one of the weaknesses of the book is a repetitive plot. According to Goodreads, the book wasn't terrible, it was just kind of boring. It's a series of people getting one sick. One gets sick, one gets nursed, and gets better. Then the story repeats. Therefore, because of the boring plot, many people did not rate this book highly. Although the book is repetitive, one of the strengths of this book is that it was very interesting in describing the 1793 yellow fever plague in Philadelphia through the eyes of a 14-year-old girl, or as most people would have told it from a personal point of view of an adult. Dick's book's relation to history is that yellow fever, a disease transmitted by mosquitoes, and the outbreak that struck Philadelphia in 1973 was one of the worst epidemics in United States history. In three months, it killed nearly 5,000 people, 10% of the city's population. While many people fled to escape the disease, Congress adjourned on schedule and its members left town along with George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Lori Hals Anderson is an American writer known for writing young children and young adult novels. She received the Margaret A. Edwards Award from the American Library Association in 2010 for her contribution to young adult literature. She was first recognized for her novel Speak, published in 1999. She was born October 23, 1961, and she's currently 56 years old. She writes young adult fiction, historical fiction, and picture books for young readers. Some of her notable works are Speak, Fever, Catalyst Twisted, and Winter Girls. Because Lori Hals Anderson got her degrees in languages and linguistics, I do not believe she's personally well-equipped to write a history book. Personally, I would recommend the story because of the way the book is organized into short chapters, it keeps you motivated to continue reading, and also because of the way the character develops and changes, such as Maddie throughout the story.